Hi everybody, welcome to Caltech. My name is Nitika. I'm a rising third year graduate student in astronomy and I'm getting my PhD focused on radio instrumentation. So my whole life growing up, I've always been interested in like planes and rockets and space, but I didn't really know what it meant to be a physicist or an astronomer. So I went to school and decided I would be an engineer and be part of the team of people that send people to space. Once I got to college, I started taking a bunch of classes in various things and I found myself in an introduction to astrophysics class and my interest in astronomy just took off from there. I had no idea what to expect when I came to grad school. I basically was just taking a huge chance on myself saying, I'm gonna go to graduate school in astronomy and see what happens and hopefully I like it. For the entirety of my first year, I spent a lot of it sitting in class, sitting in the office with my friends, crunching through problem sets. I found that even though everyone around me was so accomplished and so amazing, they were also really kind and supportive. At the end of my first year, all first years actually have to take this exam called the qualifying exam. While it was super intimidating, it was both a really great bonding experience for me and my cohort to sit around all day and study for it together. And it was also really great to just consolidate everything I had learned in my first year classes and focus on like the big picture of astronomy. My second year, I spent a lot more time visiting Owens Valley Radio Observatory, working on commissioning for a new telescope called the Deep Synoptic Array, running tests on the dish, making sure we could get it calibrated, and it's super fun being there. The telescope that we're working on is called Sprite, and it's basically two radio dishes that we're going to get up and running to observe the sky at 100 gigahertz. We're hopefully just going to observe a broad number of objects across the sky that typically don't get observations at these frequencies. So maybe they've been observed a lot in the optical or in x-ray, or maybe they've been observed a lot at lower frequencies, but there is a gap in observations at the frequency that we'll be building this telescope at. Yeah, so actually when I first came to Caltech, I had no idea that I'd be working with the Caltech radio group. At the time, I just had a gut feeling that maybe radio astronomy was something that sounded really cool and I wanted to try out. I had never done it before, so I was definitely super nervous going into it, but the idea of doing something brand new has always been super exciting to me. One of my favorite things about getting to work at Owens Valley as part of my research is that I get to have the engineer's experience. I get to be an astronomer because I get to observe objects with our telescope, and at the same time, I also find that being at Owens Valley has been really great for my personal interests. Overo is surrounded by the Sierra Nevada mountains, so there's amazing hiking, there's some world-class rock climbing, and so while I'm there on the weekends, I get to go and tap into that part of my life as well. I love the graduate students who work with me, whether or not they work on the same research project as me. It's super fun to talk to people across even just different sub-disciplines of astronomy. So there's a bunch of outreach stuff going on at Caltech Astronomy. So once a month, every Friday night, we have what we call the stargazing lectures. So we'll invite one astronomer to give a 30-minute talk to the general public about their research, and then we set up telescopes and show them fun things like the moon and Jupiter and some of the brightest star clusters, and everybody really loves that. The second really fun thing that Caltech Astronomy does is called Astronomy on Tap. All of us head out to a bar in downtown Pasadena, and we have two astronomers give a very short talk about their research, and. It's very casual, we have pub trivia, and there's games and prizes, and it's something that I really love participating in. So more locally, just with the grad student community on campus, I'm part of Women in Physics, Math, and Astronomy. So this is a group focused on supporting women, and as an asterisk, we use a very broad definition of women. So anybody who identifies as female and of any race or gender identity and sexuality, everybody is welcome. And so we host a variety of things like social events for members of the community to get to know each other, or journal clubs to talk about issues that we feel affect our community and how we can demand change. It is really useful for us to get together and talk about our shared experiences and you know, feel like there's some solidarity in anything we might have experienced in our careers so far. The Caltech Astronomy Department is super supportive and that's actually the reason that I decided to come here over any of the other grad schools that I visited is that amongst the grad student population there is a real commitment to supporting each other. We feel comfortable talking to each other about 
if we're struggling with research or struggling with classes or need help talking to our advisors, I feel like my peers will be there to support me. If you like being somewhere where there's sunshine all year round, I would definitely say come here. That's been really amazing for my grad school experience is getting to walk around campus in the sunshine all the time. To anybody who's unsure about applying to grad school or unsure about whether they think they're on the right track, I would say it's totally fine to just take a leap of faith and try out that thing you want to do.